The point of this stitch, this is going to be the inside of your stitch where it's turned up. You see that lip there? The outside is not going to have a very visible thread at all. So I have my thread here, my needle, my thread coming off of it, not in one end. Now, it's especially important with this stitch when you are putting your needle through to really hang on to that thread at the eye of your needle. If you don't, the thread is liable to shift back and forth. It might come all the way out, and we don't want that. All right, here we go. So I'm doing this as a right-handed person. If you're a left-handed person, you will be stitching in the opposite direction. So on this sample, I'm starting on the right side, and I'm going to take a starting stitch. So in order to just catch my thread onto the hem, I don't want this thread hanging onto the exterior of the fabric, the part you're going to see. I want it hanging onto this lip, which is turned to the inside of the garment. So I'm going to put my needle through just that lip. Just grab a little bit of it. Not super important because you're not going to see the inside, really. Pull it through. Now, even though my second thread is hanging down, it's not getting caught in this garment. As I go along and use more thread, I'm going to allow the thread to go through the eye of the needle so that I'm only at any given time stitching with one bit of thread. And just to make sure this doesn't come out, we're going to stitch through one more time just to catch it on to the lip of the fabric. All right. Now we're going to start our actual hem stitch. So the entire time you're stitching, your needle is going to be pointing downwards. Because I'm right-handed, I'm starting at the right-hand side, and my stitch is going to be going across. So each actual stitch I take, I'm going to be pointing down like this. Right. The point of the hand stitch, like I said, is to be nearly invisible on the outside. So I'm going to grab only one thread of my fabric from the exterior of the garment. It might be a little tricky to see. And if you're grabbing two threads, three threads, it's okay. Um, different fabrics are going to react differently. The goal is just to grab as little as possible. That's going to make it the least visible. So I'm grabbing one single thread from the exterior and then putting it through the folded up hem part. Again, not super important how much of the hem you grab, just enough. And pull it all the way through. Now I'm going to jump a little bit ahead. Unlike the back stitch, we really don't have to put this that close together. Um, I like mine about three quarters of an inch apart. So at three quarters of an inch from my first stitch, I'm going to grab a single thread from the outside and then grab a little chunk from the hem. Pull it on through. Three quarters of an inch away. I'll grab another single thread from the exterior. My chunk from the hem, pull it through. And my second thread that's hanging through the eye of my needle is getting a little close, so I'll pull it and just release that thread so that I'm still only working with a single thread here. We don't want that second thread getting caught up. And then a single stitch, single thread from the exterior, and a chunk from the hem. All right. So I know a lot of a lot of pant hems come undone. This is something I see really frequently just with my own clothing, with my husband's clothing, because hem stitches are done on an industrial machine when you, when you buy a pair of pants off the rack. And that sort of stitch is liable to come undone. I'm sure you've all seen it when there's a loose thread and you pull it and it just like pop, 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 comes off the whole way. That's not what this stitch is gonna do, luckily. Uh, but it is really useful to know this because Hems do seem to come undone really frequently, at least in my household. Also really useful if you're making your pants shorter or longer, same for a skirt, um, because that's a really typical alteration. Something that, uh, you know, I think it's pretty rare to buy a pair of pants that fit you just, just right. And most pants will have one, maybe two inches to let down if you need them to be longer. And they can be taken up really as much as you need them to be. All right. 
So we are going to tie this off now. I'm going to show you the second knot. Um, I like both of these knots. I use them pretty interchangeably. It just depends on what you prefer. So I finished my last stitch. It's through the outside of the garment and then through the hem. So now I'm going to take another stitch just through the hem. I'm not grabbing the outside of the fabric, just the hem. I'm going to put my needle through and, I, and pull my needle through all the way, but not uh, don't, don't close that loop of thread. I know that's a, a little hard to see that single thread, but it's around my hands right now. So with my needle, let's see if I can, here we go. My needle in this hand with that uh, thread coming from my needle and the loop of thread not closed yet, I'm gonna reach through that loop, grab the thread coming out of the needle, pull it through and make that first needle, uh, sorry, first loop shrink down. Now I have a second loop and I'm gonna reach through again. But instead of just pulling the thread that's connected to the needle, I'm gonna take the entire needle through, pull that so that second loop down. There we go. Give it just a nice gentle tug. I always put my thumb over it when I tug it. That way I'm not going to break the thread. I'm not going to pull my stitch anywhere funky, but I am getting that nice knot nice and tight. All right, I'll tie it off. And I'll take one more stitch like I did before just to hide that tail of thread. That's kind of a, a little pro tip. That's not necessary, but I just think it has a really nice clean finish. All right, that's your hem stitch.